someone singing. Elena. Centuries have passed, and now finally we can be together. <gasps> Aaron, no! Get away! <gasps> I came here so we could be together. Could this be her? Could this be Experiment Zero? That's right. But why so cold? We've been together since the Harvest Festival, haven't we? So the dreams Elena saw when she ate Master Flesh, those were your memories? No! Get out from inside me! <sighs> what is this girl sniveling about? Aaron did it all for me. He brought back that master flesh. So I could regain my full power. Now I will be together with Aaron, and we will become complete. Oh, Aaron! You look just like him, you know. So, you are... Stop! Get away from me! This time, we will come together and bring peace.
<laughs> Elena. Aaron. Zirin. She wants something from you. She wants part of your chain. She wants the part taken from her. Five centuries ago. Ooh. On that day, five centuries ago, the man who was meant to join her, to become a master alongside her, was your ancestor. Uh. The only reason she went after you is because of the bloodline you shared with the man she loved and lost that day. So, the reason you were cursed, the reason she entered your soul, was that you were close to Aaron? No, that's not it. It's because I loved Aaron. It's because I loved you. Uh. <laughs> the mark is gone from your back. Your skin is pure and untainted. The curse has been lifted. <gasps> Can it be true? Well, if the curse is no more, our work here is done. Baron. Let's go. Ugh. <sighs> 
Elena. Aaron. Now that the Oracle's chain has regained its power, Experiment Zero can be brought to an end. And the scar closed forever. The truth is, my people, the Vestra, played our part in causing this calamity. <gasps> Five hundred years ago, my people worked for the cause of peace. We helped create the Masters. But then, when Experiment Zero failed, it spawned a series of tragedies. I... see. Those thirteen people who offered themselves up to serve as vessels, their sadness, their fury, their pain, their anguish, it haunts our people to this day. Can it be true? Now, listen to me. You have no more business here. You should be on your way. Go back to your world. A world that is now at peace. Experiment Zero. The Twelve Masters. We are sorry for what we did to you. We know what we must do. So, old friend, our final task. The Oracle's chain. We must make use of its power, as we did five centuries before, and again five decades ago. Lend us your power. ancestors never once gave up hope. With each new generation born, our future, our hope lived on, the hope that this day would come. Let us now join them. In the year 511 of the Unified Era, 
the vast valley known as the Scar vanished from the land of Imperia, and the Thirteen Towers were destroyed. Mavda wrote a letter to the King of Illyria. This spurred the monarch to make a full and frank confession of the army's research into biological weapons in the Thirteen Towers, and how this had triggered the cataclysm that created the Scar. No one knew the whereabouts of Mavda and her husband, but Mavda's tribe, the Vestra, were granted territory by the king. Here they set about building a country of their own once more. For the first time in five centuries, Imperia boasted ten nations. With the disappearance of the Scar, Athos sued for peace with Illyria. As the war drew to a close, so each nation's army was reduced in scale. For the first time in half a century, peace prevailed across Imperia. With the end of hostilities, the army also called off its hunt for Aeron and Elena. The couple went to Elena's village and took over her family's trade. The Kingdom of Illyria sent a team to investigate the Thirteen Towers, but all they found was a section of the chain that had supported them. The scar was gone, as were the towers and the beasts within them. Gone too was the baleful curse which had plagued the land. The team did make one discovery. Aeron was indeed the descendant of the woman used in Experiment Zero. The bloodline of her and her husband could be traced directly to him, explaining her fierce desire to be united with him. The team tracked down Aeron and Elena to inform them of this fact. centuries before, on that fateful day, a husband and wife were to serve as vessels to unite the Twelve Laws. This couple were to be used in Experiment Zero. It's Experiment Zero. The subject is pregnant. What did you say? Call it off now. Hurry. It may not be too late. What's the meaning of this? The husband? He's fine. But how about his wife? It's too late. Experiment Zero, it's already begun. Ah, uh, you failed! Be silent! We must focus on saving the child. With the power of this chain. Where... Where have you gone? Uh, uh, it's... It's about your wife. I'm afraid she didn't make it. But in all likelihood, your wife was unaware that she was pregnant right until the very end. <laughs> You're gone. You're gone. But he looks so much like Reuben. Our child 
He's every bit as beautiful as Reuben was. Our future is secure. Our bond lived on beyond our deaths. Thanks to you.